Grandpa. Hey, welcome to DIY Grandpa. Just uh, here to give you a little inspiration or some ideas for a do-it-yourself project. Today, I want to uh, clean up this mess of electrical cords. I'm just tired of it. And uh, there's got to be a better way than plugging and unplugging into this power strip every time I want to turn on the shop light or, um, you know, I've got a, a attic fan plugged in up here and there's just got to be a cleaner, easier way. So I'm planning on replacing the power strip with some on off switches like light switches just to be able to come over, flip it on, flip it off. And I think that's just going to make things a lot easier. So here's the power strip that I want to get rid of. And, um, you know, I, I do want to continue to use this, uh, this plug down here. And I'm going to plug the switches into that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put up this piece of uh, plywood here on the wall. I, I like to do that um, because I can drill it into a stud and then it's just solid on the wall and I can mount other things like these electrical boxes and, and things like that on the plywood. these electrical boxes here so when you're um, before we mount them let's just uh, pop out um, the little sides here allows us to run electricity between the boxes see that hole there these are pretty easy to punch out just hit them And you can see that now they're ready to start being pried out with the pliers. And just kind of pry them off, twist them off. And you get little plugs that end up looking like quarters, but I don't think they're gonna work in a soda machine. Okay, now I've got my three boxes and uh, so we'll just mount them here side by side and then I'll start running the wires. Okay, so I just figured out that uh, I've got a little problem here. These face plates that I have for the electrical, they don't, they don't line up with the, the boxes that I have. The screw holes don't line up. So it looks like, I don't know, maybe I had these already in the garage when I bought these face plates. They're the wrong ones. So I need to go to the hardware store, get the right thing. Okay, well. I'm back and I've got the right uh, boxes that 
the holes line up with the face plates so that I can screw these both together. And uh, that'll be a lot better when they match up. So when you're shopping for boxes and face plates, just do yourself a favor and make sure they match. All right, great. I've got the right boxes now and my face plates fit on there. And so now it's time to wire up the light switches and get them installed. I like using Romex because uh, just, I'll just cut pieces from it and then use the white, black, and the ground inside. Uh, you could go buy a spool of wire, whatever you want to do, but this is what I like to use. If you're even attempting this project, I would imagine you already know how to strip wire, but I've got my wire strippers here, and um, I'm just going to take it and I kind of twirl it around on the and then I can just pull that wire off the end there, and I've got my wire stripped. Okay, well you can see that I'm starting to get my different switches and all wired up in the box here and connected together. I'm gonna show you a diagram that's I've drawn that's a little bit easier to see, uh, but you can just see how I'm daisy chaining the, the common uh, and the hot wire. Um, to go along to these switches and also um, with this plug here. I'm going to put a plug here and another one beside it and they will all be connected up to the, um, the plug that used to go to the power strip. So I'm going to plug this in here. I'm going to wire up the little devices or the, the switches in the plugs. And so this is just going to be a glorified power strip I've just replaced some of the plugs on the power strip with the switches. Make it easier to turn on and off my different things that are plugged in here. While you're looking at the diagram, you could just pause the video and uh, study it a little bit. Remember, I don't have anything plugged into power right now, so all the wiring that I'm doing, uh, there's nothing hot, and I'm just going to kind of put it together and make sure that everything looks good before I plug it in. Okay, so I got my electrical outlets ready to get wired up and I daisy chained these two together. So I've got the uh, hot and the common going to each one here and um, put a wire nut on that. I've even got my little ground wires uh, ready to go because it is a three-prong plug and I want to have it grounded on the plug end when I connect it all up. So now I've got my plugs and my switches all daisy chained together and I'm ready to get them wired up now to this plug end and I'm going to connect uh, the white and the black and the ground all in one place right down here and uh, then that'll be able to be plugged back in here to the wall. And my devices are then just going to take the place of the power strip that I used to use that was such a mess. So let's do that. Okay, so making progress here. I've got my plug wired in to the, the black and the white. I, I still need to do the, the green here, the ground. And, you know, these boxes are sharp. I just cut my knuckle on it. Um, so I gotta go inside, get a Band-Aid. Maybe this is a good time to mention that if you're not the adventurous sort, uh, maybe this is a DIY project that you shouldn't tackle. Um, you know, I remember a comedian that I was listening to said that uh, back in, when we were kids, our parents let us play with knives and guns and electricity and uh, the dumb ones didn't make it. So I guess maybe since I'm 60 years old, um, I've figured out how to keep myself safe. Uh, and I'm one of those guys that doesn't think the, the government needs to make those decisions for me. So I'm going to go in and get a Band-Aid. So here's a little trick uh, that you'll want to use on this project as well as any other electrical outlets that you have around the house. If you've got some plugs that just seem to be loose when you, when you push on them, um, 
they wiggle uh, or they just go in on the faceplate, uh, either in your house on the wall or out here in the garage. You know, I don't, I don't like it when it when it does this when I when I push on it. Well, the reason that is is because the the plugs come standard with this little plastic or or a Teflon. Um, it's like a, a washer or a, a bushing. Uh, it's something that allows you to tighten it up, but it doesn't fit on there tightly. And uh, so what I like to do is I like to get a um, a screw or or a um, a nut like this and uh, just use this nut to uh, tighten that particular screw. So uh, it fits the screw. You can just go to the hardware store with your screw if you want and find one that fits on there. But when you, when you tighten that down nice, then that plug fits real tight. And so when we plug something in and, and take it out, it doesn't wiggle in the faceplate anymore. And so I'm gonna do that on all four of these screws for my plugs on this particular project. And you can do it with any of your plugs in the house. Okay, now I'm putting my boxes together and uh, you can see I've got uh, a package here and these um, little inserts that are gonna go into the faceplate so I will just put, uh, screw the inserts onto each one of the switches and then connect that up to the faceplate. We're gonna have to take these, I don't know what you call them, I suppose you could call them a dog ear. We're gonna have to take those off and you, you just twist them. Uh, they've got kind of a crease in there and, uh, and so they come off easy enough, but those are gonna be in the way uh, for this particular installation. So just bend them back and forth a couple of times and uh, and they'll snap right off. And then there'll be room for this all to fit into our faceplate. So now we've got our switches connected up to the faceplate and uh, then the faceplate just gets screwed on on the uh, there's two screws that come with it standard, um, one on each corner, and not that corner. <laughs> it's actually these two right here. And so we'll just uh, screw this in on the top right corner. And that's one. This one here on the bottom left corner. And look at that. We've got switches. Of course, nothing is plugged in. So no risk of electric shock. Gonna get it all put together before we actually plug it in. Okay, so I wanted to show you that I've added the, um, the hot that's coming out of the, the switch now. So we've got the Hot, the black that comes into the switch and then is interrupted obviously by the switch when you turn it on and off it's it's interrupted when it's off and it the hot is flowing through when it's on and so that's coming through the switch like this and out and so when we put this cover on um, I've got these leads coming out the top okay so I've got my plugs and my switches wired up and installed and these are all going to be connected to this plug because the whole thing is just taking the place of my power strip but I need to get um, the white which is called the neutral or the common I need to get that up through here now uh, it is connected to my plug and so I've just made these wires here and I'm going to kind of daisy chain this together so that each one of the devices that I connect above it are going to be wired into the black and the white. The black is the hot and the white is the neutral. Sometimes they call it the common. So I'm going to wire that up now. So now you can see I've finished wiring up this daisy chain of, I don't know why I call it a daisy chain. It's just a, it's just a chain. They're just linked together. 
but I've wired those together and so now there's a, a black and a white pair coming up from each of these holes that will connect to the cord that runs to my device with the um, power, the hot, and the, uh, the neutral. Okay, so now I've got my, my wire, um, and this is just the cord that goes up to my shop light here, and I've got it wired in to the black and the white, and um, so that means it's connected to the plug here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and plug this in down below, and I should be able to flip that switch and look there. My shop light comes on. Hey, that's great. So flip it off and flip it on. That's nice. That's just so much easier than trying to find the plug and plug it in and out. So flip it off, flip it on, and I like my new solution. That's great. Okay, so now I've got my, this is my shop light over the workbench. This goes to the exhaust fan in the attic and this goes to the light to the attic so I've got a, a switch for my attic light got my exhaust fan it just went off and now it's back on again and uh, here's my shop light you can see that uh, that went off and back on again so I kinda like it well we're all done you remember what it looked like before it's kind of a mess over here a lot of wires and uh, cords and plugs and now it's real neat I've got my switches and this is for my uh, attic fan this is for my bench light this is for the attic light uh, I've got an extra one and it's all plugged into this one plug and my uh, grinder is plugged into my new box so I like the way it turned out it's all done hey well thanks it's nice to uh, to get a snack. Thanks, honey. I appreciate it. Cheese and crackers. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Jeff, that looks really good. Oh, thanks, honey. All right. See you all next time. Bye-bye.